This week on Machine Repeat TV, great care and low hours described this green lineup at the Leon Hoffman auction. You won't believe what this beautiful 2009 7430 Premium sold for. What a beauty! Restorations don't get better than this 4020. And one man's junk, very often, can be another collector's treasure. Your machinery is a serious investment and at the heart of every farming operation. Some call it a passion. We're Machinery Peak TV, and today we'll cover everything from auction roundups to the classics to the latest trends and technology. Machinery Peak, the most trusted name in farm equipment. Machinery Peak thanks these premier sponsors for their support. Sullivan Auctioneers, let our team of professionals show you how to make your auction a success. Visit SullivanAuctioneers.com. Hey folks, welcome to Machinery Repeat TV. We're in Sleepy Eye, Minnesota today, my home state out in the southwest corner of Minnesota. And I tell you, what does everybody want for a good used tractor right now? Something with a little age and low hours. And I tell you what, we've got some beauties today. Super low hours on your 8420. 7430 premium and a 6430 premium with a loader. Now before we watch them sell, let's get back to the studio, catch up on the latest farm equipment news. Thanks Pete, I'm Clinton Griffiths. A new Purdue Ag Economy Barometer shows farmers remain bullish about farmland values. The latest survey shows the Long-Term Farmland Value Expectations Index had a record high reading of 159 in September. Now that's Four points higher than August, but farmer sentiment declined 14 points to a reading of 124. That's the weakest farmer sentiment reading since July of last year. Inflation appearing to play a major factor in that right now. Ag producers are very concerned about farm input price inflation. In this month's survey, 34% of the farmers in our survey said they expect farm input prices to rise by 12% or more. That's up from 21% of the producers in the survey that felt that way last month. Farmer sentiment was also reflected in a weaker farm capital investment index, which was down 10 points. Farmers' plans to buy machinery were also weaker, with over half of those asked saying their plans to buy farm machinery have been impacted by low farm machinery inventories. An organic food producer in Europe taking the machinery world by surprise, unveiling the world's first hybrid biomethane and electric tractor. Alga says it can replace a 400 horsepower diesel tractor and run it for up to 12 hours thanks to larger quick change gas cartridges. Now, using digesters, the biomethane can be made from livestock and food waste. Alga is Europe's largest vertically integrated organic food producer. It hopes to roll the technology out globally in the near future. Now let's check on some recent prices from around the country. Now back to our host, Machinery P. Well, I'll tell you what, folks, a 10 plus year old tractor with low hours, one owner, that's a recipe for hot bidding. And stick around, we're gonna have that here on this 09 John Deere 6430 Premium, 988 hours selling with a loader. All right, folks, beautiful tractor here, a 2009 John Deere 7430 Premium, 933 hours on it, one owner. Now, one month and one day ago, on an auction in Floyd, Iowa, we saw a 2010 model 
with only 345 hours on it and a loader sell for 156,450 bucks. That was over 30,000 bucks higher than the previous I'd ever seen. And the highest I've ever seen on a 7430 premium sold without a loader coming into today, 107,000 bucks. $135,135,135,135,135,135,135,135,135,135,135,135,135,135,135,135,135,135,135,135,135,135,135,135,135,135,135,135,135,135,135,135,135,135,135,135,135,135,135,135,135,135,135,135,135,135,135,135,135,135
36-5, Ladon Tim, 36-5, 37, 36-5, 37, down, 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 give me $37,000, anybody else, tell it to them, 36,500, 1800, Machinery Pete TV is brought to you by Kubota. Together, we do more. Your next piece of equipment is on MachineryPete.com. Search equipment from dealerships across the country to find what you're looking for. Only on MachineryPete.com. Well, folks, you know you can check out auction prices on all types of equipment for free now at MachineRepeat.com. And I tell you what, it is fascinating to navigate backwards through this, through this data. Um, you can go back over 20 years. So the other day I got looking back 20 years to September of 2001. And check out these prices. So back on September 14th, 2001, on the dealer auction in Pipestone, Minnesota, our friends at, with the Steffes Group, uh, sold a John Deere 8300 tractor, 1,464 hours on it for $62,000. And a day before that, in Mitchell, Nebraska, good folks at Helberg & Nuss Auction & Realty sold a 1989 Case H 7140 front wheel assist Magnum with 3,348 hours on it for $33,750. So hey, anybody else like me and wish we could have a time machine and go back 20 years and buy those tractors and throw them in the shed? Because how much would they be worth now? Well, let's look at our more recent auction sale prices. And how about this? From August 18th of 2021, same auction company, the Steffes Group, had an online farm auction up in north central Illinois where another 95 model John Deere 8300, this one only had 875 actual hours on it, but it sold for $117,000, folks. All-time record high price there on a John Deere 8300, 12,000 over the previous high, which was set 10 years ago. Now, a week before that, August 12th, on a farm auction near me here in uh, southeast Minnesota, Holland Auction Company sold another 1989 KSH 7140 front wheel assist Magnum. This one was 6,110 one, one owner hours on it, and it went for 54,000 bucks. So 20 years later almost exactly double the hours and it sells for just over $20,000 more. That shows you how red hot the market is for good used tractors right now. Well, welcome back to Tractor Tales, folks. Real treat for you this week. We're here in Western Wisconsin with Bill Meyer. And Bill, you gotta tell us about your your 71 John Deere 4020 here. Oh, we bought the tractor about three years ago. It, uh, it did come with a cab and we removed it and put the fenders and shields on and uh, the tires that are on it uh, came with the tractor. The guy supposedly farmed in peat soils, is why he had the big tires on it. Your connection with 4020s goes back quite a ways, Bill, and kind of a unique story. You actually used to work at a John Deere dealership. Yeah, I got out of high school in 70. We, Worked at a John Deere dealer for a couple years, right when they were brand new, and I drove the truck a lot of the time. So we were hauling them, moving them around. You were delivering them out to happy, happy buyers yeah. of brand new 70, yeah, they 70 were ones. When they were new, I wish I could have bought one. And <laughs> kept it. <laughs> well, your 4020 looks like new here. Now I understand you did a lot of the work to it yourself. Well, we do most of the mechanical and assembly type stuff, but we hire the paint and body work. And now the tires. Uh, very interesting. I bet when, because you take this thing out on a lot of tractor rides, is that we right? We take it at least once every year okay. on a ride. Those tires must generate some yeah, discussion. Yeah, between standards where they're not very common up in this area, 
in the tires, it usually brings people up so you get to visit. You know, it's pretty interesting, I guess. What is it about collecting these early 70s deer tractors, Bill, that uh, makes it fun for you? Well, it's kind of what I grew up with, and, and they're not that hard to work on. There's no electronics or none of that stuff, and just they run nice and smooth. Hey, stay with us, folks. Coming up, you're not going to want to miss the feature item on our show today, this 03 John Deere 8420. This thing's only got 1,760 hours on it. And I tell you, 8420s is one of the hottest tractor models on the market. Got equipment to sell privately but tired of scams and hassles? Visit MachineRepeat.com and click Sell Mine. MachineRepeat.com, the simple and secure way to buy and sell equipment online. Hey folks, time for a feature item on the show today, definitely worth sticking around for. We got a 2003 John Deere 8420. This thing only has 1,760 hours on it. Owner Leon Hoffman bought it new when it had 90 hours on it. Now, 10 days before the auction today, on an online farm estate auction in Northeast Missouri, we saw an 05 model 8420 with 1,942 hours on it sell for 150,000 bucks, third highest auction price ever. Lower tractor, help yourself. I don't know where to send you to find another one. 165, 166, 167, 166, 167. On the floor, Sam. 166, 7. 166, down 7. 166, down 7, 7, 7. New York, you're trying to get 7, 8. 167, 168, down 167, down 8. 167, down 8, 8, 8, 8. 167, down 8. 167, 168. 167, down 8. 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 167, Brad, what did they say? 168, 167, 8, Wisconsin, you want to do it? 167, give 168,000. So, 167,000 dollars goes to Andover, New York, ladies and gentlemen. Well, folks, I just talk and talk and talk about how hot this tractor market is, and I tell you, more proof here, unbelievable. The 03 John Deere 8420, 1760 hours, sells for 167. That's $10,000 over the highest I've ever seen. And that former record, that was nine years ago. All right, folks, I know a lot of times, or to be honest, most times, it seems like I'm talking about record prices on super condition, low hour, always shedded stuff. Very important, very fun to do that, but I tell you, for 32 years reporting on these prices, I don't personally care if it's an old piece of junk. We want to get those sale prices too. Those are just as important. We know somebody out there is looking to buy or sell one. So today we're going to talk older combines. Now let's start off with a 1965 John Deere 42 pull type. Now this one's actually listed for sale in our machinerypeat.com website by John Fravel of Sedalia, Missouri. He's asking 990 bucks selling with a pair of heads. Now, he, John did not mention that this had been always shedded. Um, I think he could have said it's definitely been always shaded, but a uh, great opportunity there for somebody if they want a, a classic 6542 pull type. Now, if we switch gears and go to the auction market, how about this one? This K600 sold with a two row corn head on a September 14th online auction in Southeast Iowa. Now, it, was, uh, it had been shedded, but had not been running for years, and it sold for 400 bucks. So, didn't bring much money, but I tell you, pretty fun to see a Case 600 combine in the wild, so to speak. Now, the thing when we talk older combines, of course, older is a relative term. I think you, many of you can relate to that. I know I can. Uh, but how about this? A 1988 John Deere 6620 Titan II. 2,585 hours on it. Now this sold on a farm auction August 21st near me here in Southeast Minnesota by my good friends at Maring Auction Company. It went for $23,500. Now that is the highest auction price in six and a half years to the day on a John Deere 6620 Titan II.
Well, folks, almost 32 years now I've been covering auctions. I can honestly say I think those three tractors, the hottest sale I've ever seen. 10,000 over the record price on an 8420, 139 on the 7430 premium, 114 on the 6430 loader. Just incredible. That's how hot the market is right now. Tune in next week back here on Machinery Pete TV. We'll have more equipment to highlight for you. Machinery Pete thanks these premier sponsors for their support. Sullivan Auctioneers, let our team of professionals show you how to make your auction a success. Visit SullivanAuctioneers.com. Your next piece of equipment is on MachineryPete.com. Search equipment from dealerships across the country to find what you're looking for. Only on MachineryPete.com. Best way I've seen to fix faded paint? Dakota Shine. Order online at DakotaShine.com or visit your regional farm stores to pick up your Dakota Shine today.